Hello everyone, Silvermoon here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Metroid Fusion! In the last episode, we got missiles, and we... And we learned that the elevator had been taken out of commission. In this episode, hopefully we will get to this target. And you, you can probably hear from the save room uh, song that that's where they got Dark Samus' theme for Metroid Prime 2. Oh, it is? I, I never noticed that, actually. Or at least this particular song that's playing right now. I mean, it's just this slow humming... Actually, this this has been on Metroid forever. Yeah, but still, kind of where they got Dark Samus' theme from. And we missed the wall, and a hole opens up. Let's go in. And it's red, so we we keep the themes. Oh. It's those enemies that our beam does nothing to! It's squishy. Remember what I said about missiles? And we get some back from missling it. Yep, I think those things always drop a green parasite unless you don't need missiles. Yep. And it's energy to rely on. If you have full energy, it always drops green. Yep, and now we're going down the pathway beside the elevator shaft. And we fall through and see the wires are crossed! And we get our first missile tank. To increase our distance by five. Oh, and just a note Metroid Fusion actually came out first in America. Or in Yep, it did. Huh? Yep, it did. And it came out on Japan later, I think. Yeah, and the Japanese version actually added additional features. Additional difficulty levels, to name one. But yeah, huh. the difficulty options you see in Metroid Zero Mission, those are from the Japanese version of Metroid Fusion. Although playing fusion in hard mode would have been hell on drugs. Mm, I know. Oh, gameplay challenge number one. Try to dodge the energy tank. You don't have to dodge it forever, just prove you can dodge it. Mm. My brother is here and he just gave me a thumbs up. And now for our first... Whoa! Mint door mini boss. If the if it's yellow and flashing, you want to jump. If it just opens up and it's brown, you shoot it with a missile, preferably. Otherwise, it doesn't damage. Ah, gosh darn! I shot too many times. Remember, the bosses get the, the zombies on the ground take exactly one shot before they fall. Exactly one shot. Oh. And they and it left a red parasite. Red red parasites restore 400 energy, 100 missiles, and I believe 20 power bombs. Oh, and the red X restore almost all your health, almost all your energy. No, 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 400 energy. 400 exactly. Ah, and they restore missiles, and they're the only X that restore power on site for the core X. I'm gonna go over here. I know there's a secret pass here. Yep. And we go over here, and we get another energy tank. That will help us against Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, don't spoil the bosses. It's not Sonic. It's not Sonic, come on. I know, you I know, know but it actually has two different names. My Metroid Fusion soundtrack refers to the boss as Mulkala, whereas in the manual for the English version, they refer to it as Arachnus. It's Arachnus. Technically, yeah. Oh, what in the world is this? It's infested. So, that's Arachnus. He's yes, fire. He boss. throws fun. He throws sonic boots. He's an awesome boss because that's how he rolls. <laughs> He's pretty easy though. Yeah, he is Best easy. Time. I actually died to him the first time I fought him originally. My me too, man. Don't worry. It's, my it's my brother is actually the one who gave me this game for Christmas one year, but that was because he wanted to the game. That's how he just... He tends to do stuff for Christmas. That's how, uh, that's how he tends to do stuff for Christmas. He'll take the stuff thing, one thing on my Christmas list that he wants the most. Oh, there we go! Already! Now this is the main gimmick of Metroid Fusion. Every boss battle will end with a Core X, which you have to finish off in order to get... In order to finish off the boss. And... Three hits! And we get 
Absorb it, and we get the Morph Ball. But then again, since when is the first power-up you ever get in a Metroid game the Morph Ball? Aside from the games like Metroid 2 and this game, where you in Metroid 2, you had the Morph Ball by default. And, pro and Prime as well, until it's taken away from you. Actually, Morph Ball often is the first item you get. Even in That's the what I'm saying! Metroid. That's what I'm saying! But in Metroid 2, you actually start out with it, I believe. Yep. And in this game, you get the missiles first. Up oh, this one, you, you don't have the bombs yet. So you need to climb up, shoot it with your beam, and then roll through. Nice and easy. They teach you the game mechanics. Yep, they do. The primary thing being shoot, shoot things to open the monster door. What's in here now that we can get in here? Oh, it's a recharge. It's a recharge thing. station. Ah. You will. You. You may think those rooms are your best friend, but then you realize how they're placed. Yeah. Right after boss battle, you regained all your energy and weapons, even. Even with. With by absorbing core X. Yep. No, I mean literally. The people will see how those damn rooms are placed. Yeah. This is the only area with, with recharge rooms that are just conveniently placed. And into our... Curse you, computer, for blocking our progress! Cock the planet! So, Samus, it's as, it's as I fear. The breeding environments have been infected by X para, invaded by X-Parasite. Sector 1, SRX, shows several abnormalities on biosensors. Sector 1 is a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the access shaft and use elevator 1. Is your objective clear? Yes, get to SRX. Use the navigation room just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the X into the environments may also be linked to the earlier explosion. Foreshadowing much? Well, football tunnel right here. And we get another missile tank. Those things are scattered like candy. I do believe there's 50 of them or something. Well, I believe the maximum missile capacity is like 255 or something. Oh, whoa. Yep. Wall in the way. Roll under. And down the elevator, and... That guy summoned the power of Michael Bay! You cannot fight good parking on those spots. So Zuka, Zuka, Zuka. Holy crap! Go out those missiles way, are overpowered as hell. No, not even... <laughs> Not even our missiles can do that. I know, right? It's just unfair. What? Uh, I think I think the fact that he that that thing blew the door up. Actually, actually, that's my Samus from Super Metroid here to troll you. <sighs> A blue hatch. And our beams don't work on it. What's going on? Why are the hatches working different here? Then again, well, if you if you look at the map, you will get why. W I... When I realized my first time playing through, I was like, oh. Yeah, basically, instead of the your traditional Metroid door unlock things, gray hatches are unlockable until you beat a boss. Blue hatches are normal. Green hatches super missile. Yellow power bombs. Red su red missiles. Green super missiles. This one has a sort of Thing to keep you on track. It's, it, it's it's the Doom key system. You need to unlock them first. Yep. You cannot go through a door unless it's unlocked and the hatch is blinking. So, in other words, when you come to this game, don't use your Metroid instincts about what each door opens because you will be wrong. 
But do use your Metroid Instinct stomach for power-ups. True enough. Oh, a hand and map. She and she reveals the main area. The main elevator leading to the access shaft has been sever severely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful. Certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The X in Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They are already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Of course it is. Now get moving. I wanna ask, the X can mimic things, right? Mm -hmm. Apparently that, that doesn't include breathing like them. I don't know. <sighs> Hold on, I happen to get someone messaging me in AOL. There, I'll probably edit all that out in post-production, but yeah, you might hear one more sh confirming, sh little ding confirming. Yeah, this is, and then there's recharge rooms. Pretty much the only place they put them is at the beginning of a of an area. So that's, I, I pretty much I think that's what Jay means by the fact that they're jerkishly placed because if you want to reach full recharge, you guys either have to grind X parasites off of enemies. Or go all the way back to the beginning. Also, my friend, the the little I'm thing is blocking the thing. Little what? The I'm thing is blocking the thing. Oh, oh my bad. Thank you. I thought you were talking about I'm the R from Super Hot Wars Z2. And now we're dealing with X amoebas. And another squishy thing. Oh, and we hit we're at our first atmospheric stabilizer already. And if you, in case I didn't tell you, you can wall jump, just like in Super Metroid. You spin your control wall, press the opposite direction, and it's a jump button. And our miss beam has no effect on it, so we must use missiles. Atmosphere stabilizer online. Four units still malfunctioning. Why no, would they take there's... them offline? And if, oh. There's finally it opened up. Now the now there is one of those you are meant to hit from behind. You know which one I'm referring to. Oh crap! Dude, don't die here! Don't die here! Please don't die here! And though and those are screes, I believe. No, the screes the screes are the ones that dig into the ground. Don't they? No, they don't. They just slam down into, onto the ground and then go back up. Screes will just dig into the ground and disappear. But you know, I meant mutated screes. Like X screes. <laughs> now there's one of those atmospheric stabilizers. And now done. they're X X screes. Now that I've killed them, they'll be back. Course pit, pit there. Crumble blocks. If only we had the ice beam. Yeah, we don't need it. And it's true enough. And another thing right here. Yeah, this stabilizer is kind of out of the way, so get it while you can. You could do. You could always come here later after you have the next upgrade. But we true enough, about true enough. Upgrades make everything better. Now, which way to go? I think I'll go this way first. We're playing Metroid Fusion. They will, they will not allow you to continue if you're not heading to the, the correct way. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is only one spot in the game where you can do any sort of sequence breaking. And I will point it out once we get there, but I won't do the spoilers. 
Yeah. And I do not believe you will attempt it because it's actually pretty tricky. Yeah. That's not going to be a sequence. And it break, does. Up. Oh, lava room where we can't do anything in. Except me to go to the other no, side. Take and a missile that, tank. And no, so Silver. That that's not lava. That that's actually jam. Or Listerine. Be because if it's actually if it was actually lava, the room will be hot and you wouldn't be able to step in. Or it's the vital fluid for Metroid 2 there. And here we have space pirates. Space pirates! Space pirates. I did a better impersonation of Proton John for that than you. I wasn't going for Proton John. Who are you going for? Nobody in particular, just a very stereotypical space scientist. <laughs> That reminds me of... And the crabs of... from Super Metroid. Those are here too, for some reason. Even though, even those are from the All right. Now it'll, they'll, these things will start... Did, did you ever notice the game too? In what? On the stabilizers, on the corrupt stabilizers. Ah, oh, jeez. So little marketing, anyone? Literally, on the next one, just pay a little attention and you will notice the game here. Hmm. Up. Too slow. Oh. So there's a pathway leading down, but we can't go to it yet. Well, you didn't bomb it. Another atmospheric stabilizer here. You see it? Actually, they're... It, oh, kinda, yeah. Huh. You shouldn't have dropped down. This room is dangerous. Yeah, true enough. I managed okay, and I still have full energy. Yep. I'm in missile tank. Thankfully, thankfully, unlike the other games where only some enemies drop health in this game, every enemy drops at least something. Yeah. But... But it's counterbalanced that they only drop either two missiles or ten health. Ten energy, yeah. Very rare, rarely enemies will drop more, but... And more space pirates! Space pirates. Let me shoot you! There! They only take one missile, though. Oh, hi, Samus. What? I'm right here. They probably... Remember, they're being controlled by the X, so... Uh, actually, the, the X do have the memories. Yep. It actually, this it, is our it's only shutter. Notice that you sh open it by shooting the bulb. And if you try to go back... You cannot currently go through back through. Oh no! If only there was a Metroid power-up that could shoot through walls. Oh, wait. Ah. Yep. Don't worry, everyone gets hit in this damn room. Uh. Be because climbing Samus is slow. Up oh, there we go. And did the morph ball. Alright, I believe over here is a save room. It's, they're marked on the map, so they're not so, so hard to find, actually. Yeah, it's a place to grind up health. No hiding it. But with that, I am going to actually cut this here, because we might have a boss coming up. I, you saw that Idor. I saw an Idor. The Idor saw... Well, technically, I guess it can't see itself. So, yeah. If you like this part, subscribe, comment, thumbs up. Help my, ch help my channel out, will ya? See you guys in the next episode.